This book is so much fun to read and it's a lost gem from somebody we don't focus near enough on. So Pope St. Leo IX uh, was an incredible Pope. And this book he wrote is called The Battle of the Virtues and Vices, Defending the Interior Castle of the Soul. Now, when this was proposed to us by our great translator, Father Robert Nixon, I was really taken back because what this guy did, I think in the 1100s, I mean, it was a long time ago, what he did was he personified the virtues and the vices. So if you have, for example, humility is personified in a way that sounds like a, a person who walks into the room and, and then you have pride who's also personified as a person walks in the room. And he does this with all the different virtues and vices and explains what would each of these virtues look like, sound like, dress like? And likewise, what would pride, if it was personified, walk into the room? How would they dress? How would they talk? How would they walk? How would they interact? It's absolutely fun and fascinating to read. So it's just a beautiful gem that's been lost never before in English. But just to give you a little, a little bit more on this, so uh, pride and humility, like I mentioned. But let's say envy is rebuked by fraternal charity. So in this chapter, you have envy walk into the room, but fraternal charity argues with him and sets him straight. Um, wrath is calmed by patience. Gentleness disarms severity. I mean, sloth is reproved by energetic virtue. All of this is so descriptive. Uh, it's, it's almost as descriptive as, say, something like Dante's Inferno. So it's a masterpiece and was lost in the, in the ash heap of, you know, so many years. And we've uncovered it and translated it into English for the first time. And I can't recommend it enough.